A warm greetings to one and all. In this session, let's learn about means ends analysis with few examples. As a part of introduction in artificial intelligence, we use search strategies that move in either forward or backward direction. However, a combination of both is often more effective for solving complex and large problems. Yes, in this mixed search approach, we solve the main part of the problem first and then return to handle the smaller problems that appears while putting the major parts together. Such a technique is called means ends analysis. It is a problem solving technique that focuses on finding the difference between current state and goal state and applying the operators to reduce this differences. Instead of searching through all possible action, means ends analysis selects the actions that appear to bring the agent closer to the goal. Yes, as a conclusion, means means available action, ends means desired goal, and difference represents the gap between the current state and goal state. It mainly helps in minimizing the search space by targeting the relevant actions. It is effective for problems that are too large for brute force methods and it works efficiently in planning task which is guided by heuristic techniques. Next, the steps involved in means ends analysis are, the first step is we need to compute the difference between the current state and goal state. Next, we need to identify and recommend the action that can reduce the difference if precondition is satisfied. Finally, we have to check the possibility of action execution. So if it is not possible, then we need to treat the current state as goal state and we have to apply the action recursively. Now let's check out the algorithm for mean sense analysis. The first step is we need to compare the current and goal state. That is, we need to check whether the current and goal state both are identical or not. If they are identical, it means that the goal is achieved and we can return success. If it is not identical, it means that there is a difference between the current state and goal state. So in second step, we need to identify the most significant difference between the current state and goal state. In third step, we need to select an operator to address the difference. That is, we need to choose an action or operator that can reduce the difference between the current state and goal state. If there is no suitable operator found, then we have to return failure. In fourth step, we need to check the preconditions for the operator. That is, we need to ensure that the conditions required to apply the operator are satisfied or not. If it is not satisfied, then we need to establish a sub-goal in order to satisfy this precondition. In fifth step, we need to apply the operator. That is, we need to execute the operator to have a transition to a new state from the current state. Finally, we need to repeat the process. That is, we need to treat the new state as a current state and we have to repeat the above state steps until we reach the goal state is reached or no further progress can be made in this. So, hope you are clear in means ends analysis algorithm. Now, let's have an example for means ends analysis. Let's consider the scenario that you are at home without laptop and you want to buy a laptop from a store. The current state is at home you don't have a laptop. The goal state is you need to buy a new laptop. Now, let's check out the process involved in order to find the difference between the goal state and current state and how to reach the goal state. So, the first step is first we need to identify the difference. Yes, the difference is you don't have a laptop, you need to buy a new laptop. So that is what the first difference, you don't have a laptop. The next step is we need to select the operator. That is, you need to decide to visit a store in order to buy a new one. So this is what the operator which we have selected in order to buy a laptop. Next, we need to check the preconditions, which means that we don't know the address of the store where to buy the laptop. So that we have to first resolve it. So in next step, we are uh, having a sub goal that is we need to obtain the store's address by calling a friend. So we are making a call to a friend and we are asking him 
the address of the shop where to buy a laptop. So now sub goal is over. So we know where to buy a laptop. Next, we have to apply the operator, which means that I need to go to the store. So after reaching the store, I have to purchase a new laptop there. So now the goal is achieved, which means that earlier I was not having a laptop. Now currently I have got a new laptop. So from current state, that is without laptop. Here without laptop, this is the current state. Now I have reached the goal state, which means I have got a new laptop and I have my own laptop currently. So by breaking down the problem into manageable sub goals and addressing each systematically, the mean end analysis guides you from the current state to the desired goal state. So hope you are clear with this simple example. Now let's have another example for mean end analysis. In this example, we have two images. The first image represents the initial state and the second image represents the goal state. Both the image have different objects inside it. Our task is to transform the initial state to goal state with step-by-step -step process. Yes, first we have to find the difference between the initial state and goal state. And for each difference, we need to generate a new state and apply the operators. The operators we have for this problem is we can move an object from one place to other place. We can delete an object and we can expand an object. Now let's see step by step solution for this problem. The first step is we can evaluate the initial state. That is, we need to identify the difference between initial state and goal state. The difference is there is no small blue color circle at top right corner and there is a larger triangle in different position instead of a small triangle which is present inside the larger circle. So now we need to eliminate these differences. From step 1 we can move to step 2 by applying the delete operator. So by applying the delete operator we have removed the small blue color circle which is available in the top right corner. Next in step 3 we are applying move operator such that we have moved the smaller triangle which is available inside the circle to top right corner. Next in step 4 we have applied expand operator such that we have increased the size of the triangle so that it can match with the code state. So now we have successfully transformed this initial state to goal state using these three simple operations namely delete, move and expand. So hope you are clear in mean in analysis. That is it is working by identifying the difference between the states and selecting the operators in order to reduce the difference between the initial state and goal state. Thank you all.